Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 15 Shining Legends Pokemon Booster Packs. This is the fourth 15 booster pack opening that I've done recently on my channel. In the past, I've done openings like this for Evolutions, Sun and Moon Base Set, and Guardians Rising. Had very good pulls in each of those openings. And the way that I obtained these Shining Legends packs was I bought two items on Cyber Monday from Troll and Toad. I bought the Zoroark GX Special Collection Box and the Shining Legends Super Premium Collection Box. Opened up both of those items off camera and then put all 15 packs from those two items into this video. I am a huge fan of the Shining Legends set. This is a special expansion, meaning you have to buy products like I just mentioned to get these packs. You can't find these packs individually or in booster boxes. So the first pack here has Shiny Rayquaza on the cover artwork. You can pull Shining cards in this set. And with this set, you are guaranteed at least a rare holo in each and every pack. Each code card does have TCGO at the end of it, meaning it's a white colored code card. Four and two is a card trick, and like I mentioned, this is a special expansion set. It came out October 6, 2017, and it focuses around mythical Pokemon as well as legendary Pokemon. The first pack here starts with a Minin, Torkoal, Ivysaur, Zorua, which I use in my Lola Ninetales deck, Plusle, Grass-type Energy, Lipard, Volcarona, Energy Retrieval, Reverse Hollow of a Bulbasaur, just a common, and the rare here would be a Latios, one of my favorite looking rare holo cards in the set. I believe it did make my top 10 list for this set. My favorite cover artwork pack now, Shiny Mew, and that is the most valuable Shining card in this set. Scraggy to start the second pack, Croconaut, Jinx, Pikachu, Ekans, Fighting Type Energy, Electrode, Floatzel, Scrafty, Reverse Solo of a Super Scoop Up, that is an uncommon, and the rare here would be a Verizon, another holo card. And I'll summarize all my good pulls at the end of this opening. If you want to see some amazing pulls in my Shining Legends Elite Trainer box that I opened up a long time ago, I was actually able to open that box early. Had pretty amazing pulls out of the 10 packs in the Elite Trainer box. Card I'd like to pull most in this opening probably would be the Zoroark GX Rainbow Rare. It is the most valuable card in this set. It's worth around $30. Litten to start the pack. Purloin. Voltorb. Golit. Buizel. Water Type Energy. Volcarona. Pokemon Catcher. Warp Energy. Reverse Hall of a Venusaur. You'd think it would be a rare. It is an uncommon. And the final card is a Hoopa. So 0 for 3. Even though I'm 3 for 3 on holo cards, haven't pulled anything great so far. Four different GX Rainbow Rare cards in this set, plus there is a GX Secret Rare of Mewtwo. I've done very well pulling that card from a pack, pulled it a couple of times. Next pack here starts with a Bulbasaur, Golit, Voltorb, Breloom, Litten, Metal-type Energy, Floatzel, Scrafty, Golurk, Reverse Holo of a Zekrom, there we go, Rare Reverse Holo, pretty good pull there, and the final card is a Marshadow. Should have put that card in my top 10 list, such a beautiful looking holo card. Shiny Genesect pack now, still awaiting that first great pull. Like I said, one of the main reasons I bought the Zorark GX Special Collection box was to add another Zorark GX Full Art to my collection. Jinx to start the pack. Scraggy, Shroomish, Quillfish, Stunfisk, Psychic Type Energy, Pokemon Catcher, Warp Energy, Electrode, Reverse Hollow of an Arbok, that is an uncommon, and the rare here would be an Entei GX, probably my favorite regular GX card in this set, Entei GX, so at least I won't be shut out ultra rare and secret rare wise. Okay, on to a Shiny Rayquaza pack now. Jinx to start the pack. Minin. Torkoal. Ivysaur. Zorua. Water-type Energy. Super Scoop Up. Sophocles. Feraligator, my favorite. Second favorite Pokemon of all time. I was going to say it's one of my favorites. 
carnivine is the reverse hull, that is an uncommon, and the rare here would be an evolved hull, and as you'll see here, this car is a little bit off-centered, that is something with both Shining Legends and Crimson Invasion that I've seen, which is disappointing, these cards are definitely not cheap, I hope they'd be top of the line quality-wise. I keep getting excited seeing that white colored code card, and then I remember every pack has that same code card. I like to pull a Shining card out, I have the most of Shining Volcanion in my collection. Bulbasaur to start this pack, Pikachu, Buizel, Totodile, my favorite starter of all time, Toracat, Metal Type Energy, Incineroar, Pokemon Catcher, Golurk, Reverse Hollow of a Lily, that is an uncommon, and the rare here would be another Verizon. So not anything too great so far, just the one GX pull. I'd say we're about halfway through this opening. Bulbasaur to start this back. Stunfisk. Quillfish. Shroomish. Scraggy. Grass type energy. Switch. Warp energy. Arbok. Reverse solo of a Stunfisk. That is a common. And the rare here would be a Palkia. And mainly, the holo cards in this set are all Pokemon that have been featured in past Pokemon movies. Okay, shiny Mew pack now. And if I am able to pull the Shining Mew, you'll be able to see it has a very low HP, but it is very good for getting your bench Pokemon set up. Buizel to start this pack. Zorua. Ekans. Pikachu. Croconaw. Water type energy. Electrode. Floatzel. Scrafty. Reverse Hollow of a Croconaw. That is an uncommon. And the rare here would be another Verizian. So three Verizian hollows out of these packs so far. Shiny Genesec pack now. Toracat to start the pack. Scraggy. Croconaw. Voltor. Golet. Fairy type energy. Damage mover. Ultra Ball. Venusaur. Breloom is the reverse hollow, that is a common. And the final card is another rare hollow, this time a Manaphy. So it looks like five packs left to go. Third of the packs left to open here. So potential to pull plenty more good cards here. So it has been quite the streak on rare hollow cards. Let's see what happens here. The pack starts with a Croconaut, Voltorb, Golet, Ekans, Breloom. Lightning type energy, Pokemon catcher, double colorless energy, Lipard, reverse solo of a Pikachu, that is just a common, and the rare here is much better than a rare holo. It is an Entei GX, and that is a GX rainbow rare. So pulling both the regular form and the rainbow rare form. Set that aside, that made this opening for sure. Four packs left to go, including this shiny new pack. So this pack starts with a Purloin, Larvesta, Litten, Breloom, Voltorb, Psychic Type Energy, Golurk, Scrafty, Floatzel, Reverse Hollow, of a Spiritum, that is an uncommon, and the rare here is another great pull this time. A Shining Genesect. One of, I believe, six different Shining cards in this set. I wish that Shining Lugia, Shining Ho-Oh, and Shining Celebi would be in this set, but they are all Black Star promo cards. Another Shiny Genesect pack now. So this pack starts off with my favorite basic starter of all time in Totodile. Buizel. Plusle. Toracat. Scraggy. Fire type energy, energy retrieval. I can see that darker car in the back there. Looks like something good. Scrafty, Great Ball, Reverse Hollow of a Stunfisk. That is a common. And the final card here is another GX Rainbow Rare. This time it is a Raichu. So what great pulls out of this opening as well. Makes it even better. I was able to get such a great deal on these packs. So a lot of good luck lately in my openings. Shiny Genesec pack again. White colored code card, even though every pack's a white colored code card. 
All right, so this pack starts with a Zorua, Buizel, Plusel, Toracat, Scraggy, Grass type Energy, Great Ball, Sophocles, Incineroar, Reverse Solo of a Psychic type Energy, cool looking energy card. And the final card is a Mewtwo GX. So slow start to this opening. The pulls are really starting to heat up now. Final pack in this 15 booster pack opening now. Shiny Mew would love to end this opening with Shiny Mew. So final pack here starts with a Litten, Larvesta, Purloin, Minin, Stunfisk, Lightning type Energy, Lily, Damage Mover, Ultra Ball, Reverse Solo of a Raikou. There we go. Two rares in the final pack. Rare Reverse Solo here. And the final card is a Palkia, and that is a rare hollow. But very happy with the pulls in this opening. I can summarize those now. So out of these 15 packs, I pulled out two rare Reverse Solo in Raikou and Zekrom. And then 10 rare hollow. So a third of these packs has something good inside. So there's Manaphy, Eveltal, Marshadow, Hoopa, Latios, Polkia, which I have two of, and then I have three Verizian. Then on to the Ultra Rares and Secret Rares. Very happy with the pulls. I was able to pull out two regular GX in Mewtwo, and then Entei, one Shining card in Shining Genesect, and then easily the best two pulls, both GX Rainbow Rare cards in Raichu. And then Entei. So really can't beat those pulls from these 15 packs. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.